All right, guys, so recently I picked up a needle scaler. I made a video about it. I uh, knocked some pretty nasty chunks of cancerous rust off some old tractor rims that I was working on, and uh, I guess I sort of overlooked something, perhaps, you know, however, however it happened. Uh, you know, I made a video about this thing, you know, I'm not affiliated with Chicago Pneumatic or whatever, but I made a video about that specific needle scaler, and I kind of assumed that anybody who would be looking up needle scaler reviews, you know, would know what a needle scaler is used for, and uh, I guess this I, I was a little bit incorrect as it turned out, because I heard from a lot of people who didn't really understand at all what the purpose of the tool was, and uh, I just, I, I, since, you know, since people asked so nicely and were so friendly and polite, I figured I'd make another quick video for you guys to just showcase the difference between a needle scaler and the things you use a needle scaler for and um, a wire wheel and the things that you would use a wire wheel for because on that video working on the tractor rims, people, they're like, oh man, you know, there's still surface rust on these, so I guess your needle scaler doesn't work. You know, what a useless tool. So... The difference between the two is the wire wheel is to be used for applications which are which are much lighter duty basically. You can see on this old truck behind me there's all kinds of uh, loose flaky paint on here which would need to be removed. This would be a great job for a wire wheel. Likewise all the surface rust down here on this lower bed rail also wire wheel type job. What are some other things wire wheel is good for? Uh, removing Dust essentially generally I find not grease or whatever because that like gets all gummed up in the in the wires And it just becomes one massive mess, but removing dust removing dirt removing uh, You know very light coatings on material perhaps some thin paint or whatever uh, This is all in contrast to a needle scaler, which really only does one thing it forcefully destroys all of uh, pr Pretty much chunks of anything which is on your material or very thick brittle coatings this is not a tool which you use to remove surface rust. It's, it's just, it isn't designed uh, to perform in a way that's fine enough to remove surface rust. This is a tool you use to remove flakes of rust because it just sort of gets in there, it pommels them real nice and small, breaks things up, breaks them off. Uh, likewise, not really the tool for loose paint for two reasons. One, it's too violent. The <laughs> these truck bed sides are probably like 16 gauge or something. It will literally dent them. Uh, the other reason is it's just it's not what it's made for. You know, this is something you'd use a much finer tool for. This is kind of like uh, driving a nail with a sledgehammer. I mean, I guess I guess you could do it and it would kind of work, but it's far from ideal for the application. Uh, other things that needle scalers are good for, removing chunks of concrete, removing hardened rust, removing all sorts of things like that. You can see just the different motion between these two tools. The wire wheel, it, you know, it spins. It's good for removing lighter uh, issues like surface rust and flaky paint, things along those lines. Whereas the needle scaler, it just gets in there and it pommels things. It's great for breaking uh, chunks of rust off of old tractor rims, for instance. But it's not the tool to use to remove surface rust off of the tractor rims around where those big chunks were. Uh, it's just, it's just not really what it does. So. Um, uh, the other cool thing about needle scalers, they're great for removing slag off of welds. If you're putting down massive amounts of welds, they're really good for that. They're good for peening metal, uh, you know, to kind of massage the surface of, say, some cast iron or something, which you welded to help the uh, to help relieve stress, heat induced stress upon that material and things along those lines. So. Uh, I know this is just sort of a little quick random video, but I wanted to make this for you guys for two reasons. One, to clear up, uh, I guess, some misconceptions on that last video. And two, because I got to thinking about it, and it's like, man, you know, I finally figured out what the heck one of these is used for, and I finally bought one after years of having plenty of applications where I could use this. You know, I used to live up north in Ohio, so working on trucks and some farm equipment up there, everything is covered in that thick, disgusting, cancerous rust. And man, it, it's, it's really nice to have a tool that now, now that I don't live there anymore. It's really nice to have a tool which you just get in there, pommel that stuff, and uh, break it up really quickly and really efficiently. So uh, there's your random video. I hope this works to clarify things. A big thanks to everybody who watched that video because a lot more people watch it than I was expecting. Uh, you know, whatever. It's, that's how YouTube works, right? Sometimes you work really hard on a video and you're like, this is going to be great, and then nobody watches it. Other times you take a needle scaler out of the box, use it for one thing, and it gets like over 2 million views. Uh, whatever the case, thanks everybody who watched that. I really appreciate it. And like I said, hopefully this will clear up some questions for those people and also for other people like where I was a little ways before I bought that thing. I'd really never heard one of these, really didn't understand them. And uh, now, knowing what they're used for, you know, I try to make a video where if I watch this, I could be like, man, I could or I could not use this just depending for the things I work on. So thanks for watching. Cheers.